everyone, it's Cece, and today I'm showing you my Marshmallow Fireside Candle. It has been a few years since I picked up this candle, and I thought that, oh, I really couldn't smell it much, you know, why should I continue to buy it? And this year, um, in the fall, as you'll be able to tell by the lid that comes with this version, um, I was really intrigued by it again and wanted it for those cold snowy nights um, and today was a cold snowy morning so I've been burning it all day and uh, let's see I've been burning it since about 10 30 11 and it's 4 30 now you can just see it's really pulled out beautifully the wicks on this one are getting a bit mushroomy but not too much and it's the scent is just fantastic on it um, it smells up this oak it scents up this oak concept area it's not a huge area but um, it is an open concept and the dogs are playing over there um, and on the bottom of this it says that it's toasted marshmallow smoldering woods fire roasted vanilla and crystallized amber I never smell amber in here which I'm happy because I don't really like amber um, and I know, and, but um, I, I smell the sweetness and the woodsiness. Um, I felt, I smell a fire with a little bit, you know, roasting marshmallows over it. That's what I smell. And I know people had complained about this label. I'm not going to move it around too much. Um, that it really wasn't all that great. Um, but I love, you know, the different photos on it. And um, I will be taking it out of this holder. Because um, I think it really... The label shines on its own. It's a wraparound and it has. You can see there on the left, there's some marshmallows. Um, right at us, there's just a woodsy scene. And on the side is uh, a sky scene. Um, and I think there's even a fire. I do remember um, the version that I had a while back, several years ago, had like a fire. And I just, I really love that as well. Um... But I love the packaging. I do really enjoy this lid. It's gorgeous, I think. Um, and yeah, this one I have, I've had since the beginning of the fall. It was one of those that I picked up then, I believe. And uh, I actually picked it up twice. I have two. Um, and I, I'm, you know, this may be one I want one more of for in the, you know, this winter, especially since I'm burning it so early. We haven't had a lot of um, real, whole lot of real winter days um, in the past few years, and the snow is a little bit of a surprise to me today. Really, we barely got a ground cover, but the roads, I guess, were bad this morning, so that I wasn't happy. Um, the scent appeal to me on this is, again, it's not an everyday scent but I love it enough to probably be, you know, probably burn three of them this winter, if, you know, if I could. Um, and it, it's a cozy feeling to me. I love this, you know, I love it. An eight to a 10. Um, the strength, I would say, is at least an eight on this. Um, along with the throw, I can smell it in this entire downtown downstairs area, um, which isn't huge. Um, our house is very broken up. Um, but it works. Um, again, I said, you know, the wicks are, they're definitely not puny. They're a little long, but I have burnt it a lot and they're getting a little mushroomy. Um, but it's not like throwing sparks or anything. Um, so I'll clean those up. Um, and I think they're great. I love the packaging on this one too. I know there have been a lot of Bath and Body Works uh, packaging complaints. Um, and I understand. I understand. I like my labels to evoke a feeling. The words, again, really, you know, as everyone has said, really don't do it for me. Um, I love the photos, the pictures. I love to buy them. A scent evokes a feeling, a place, a destination, and um, puts me there. So I think that is what I'm looking for in a label. Listen up, Bath and Body Works, uh, to the candle reviewer who gets some views but doesn't have a whole lot of subscribers.
Just kidding, guys. Um, you know, I wanted to say something. I built, I started this channel because of my love for makeup. Um, I love watching um, women like um, Emily Noel, 83, Ms. Gold Girl, Angie Hot and Flashy, and many, many more. Um, but I love, you know, makeup. I really do. But this year, since I started my channel, I've become uh, much more, you know, involved in my life in some home decor pieces. Um, I can't really do a lot of decorating, a, a lot of, you know, remodeling or anything like that in this house. But I love to evoke a feeling with both fragrance and, you know, some pieces here and there. So this is kind of where, um, you know, my passions have been lying. And um, I really, I love it. You know, it's just, it's just my home. It's not a showpiece or anything like that. Um, and we live in a small home. But I love to bring some of these feelings to, you know, to my family as well. And I hope, you know, that they enjoy it. They, my girls really enjoy candles a lot too. So, um, I thank you so much for watching my channel. When you watch my hauls and my reviews and things like that, I really appreciate it. And, you know, um, this will never be an only Bath and Body Works channel. But I'd love for you to subscribe anyway because... Um, it's definitely become a passion of mine. It's become something that I've really enjoyed. I'm not an expert. These are, you know, my opinions only. But I love watching others, and I thought, you know, I would just add to my channel and do this kind of thing as well. So thank you to those who have come before me and um, kind of showed me what is out there and, you know, give me something else to enjoy doing myself. Thanks so much. Um, comment below. What's your favorite scent? Um, for cold winter nights. I've really been enjoying my Christmas scents in my house, but I brought this one out today because it's just, it seems perfect for today. So thanks so much, um, everyone. I really, really appreciate it. And I'd love for you to comment below. And of course, always subscribe.